Hey guys, Chris Fogel talking here. We have the Leica Deluxe Type 109, aka the Panasonic LX100. Let's go shoot this bad boy. Shout out to Big Head Taco for reviewing this camera first, and very nice review. Now I'm gonna tell you guys what I really like about this and what I don't like about it. Um, first of all, the lens retracts too much, which doesn't look like a street camera anymore. Uh, this paint finish collects a lot of dust and it's missing a grip like the Panasonic LX100. Now, build quality of this camera is really good since you're paying premium price for a red dot. And image quality is, is good too. Um, I'm gonna post photos in the end of this video, so you guys stay tuned. Now the Leica Deluxe Type 109 has a 24 275 1.9 to 2.8 lens in here. What I we've been we've been playing with this camera for a good hour now and. I'm pretty impressed with the black and white images it does take. It does have that like a feel to it that uh, you know other cameras don't. <laughs> and it does have a micro four, four third sensor. I think this camera is a really um, really good travel camera with the range of the 24 to 75 lens. Um, and I really love how the camera renders the black and white, even the color. But it's not as close as shooting film. But what can you do? It's a really good camera. Hey guys, so here's a few more reasons why I like the Leica Deluxe Type 109. Number one reason is it has a EVF or electronic viewfinder. Um, it is very nice, not too laggy, um, and I like how it has the aperture ring, aspect ratio, control, manual focus, and autofocus uh, switch right there. It's very easy to access. And the reasons why I got this camera is, number one is when I'm traveling, this camera is much more lighter and much, much smaller than my Nikon D700, which is right here. This weighs about maybe five pounds. This one weighs less than two pounds. Uh, you can see the size. And another reason why I got this is I needed a compact camera to film my videos since I use the iPhone 6s to film my videos is I just ran out of space all the time even though I have a 64 gig and the quality of this camera is much more better than the iPhone of course this shoots 4k iPhone shoots 4k but the sensor is much more larger since it's um, micro four thirds another reason is when I'm shooting in poor countries like in Asia, uh, like in the Philippines, this is mo a much more less conspicuous camera to shoot with than having a big uh, DSLR and it just screams out, you know, I have an expensive camera, go rob me. Um, this is much more better, just maybe I should cover up that red dot. And another reason is when I'm shooting in Asia in the rooftops or other places when security sees security sees a, uh, a professional looking camera they stop you and they say you can't take pictures but you're allowed to take pictures with an iPhone or a non professional looking camera it's weird and they say it's for you know liability or it's they might I might use it for commercial use um, 
yeah, I, I ran into that. I ran into that a few times over when I was in Asia. So this this is this camera is gonna do the job. Um, anyway, uh, if you like my videos, like and subscribe. Enjoy my photos, and I'll see you guys next time.